Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. As extension of the Pearl of Wisdom show, which I did today. I do Monday to Friday between tw- 10 and uh, 12 and 2 East uh, Mountain Time, 2 and 4 Eastern, every single day during the week. And uh, we bring you fine picks here, though. We're part of BPAL Picks. We, being Curtis Davis, who I haven't got a nickname for yet. I haven't got, we're, we're working on it. <laughs> it does, I can't find an adjective that is superlative enough for Mr. Davis. Um, he's come into my life as a capper, and uh, there's just nothing but puppies and lollipops over at BPAL right now. We're hitting like crazy. Uh, <laughs> What, what are we, seven and three in the last two days on singles, right, Curtis? And uh, two big parlays. Yep. Um, and that was all of our picks. It's not like we're just picking out, oh, we hit some here. No, we, we were, we, that was all of our picks. We got th- basically three incorrect out of the last 10 plays we did. Um, I, I, I think, no, it was 10 and four yeah. before. What am I talking about? Actually, now that I think about it, we're 12 and 4. 16 and 4, are we? I think we're like 16 and 4, but the, there was a couple days where I talked to you, but I didn't do a video. Oh, maybe. With you. I don't know. We're going, we're um, going off the chain, is what not. I'm saying. <laughs> we're, it, we're, people are making crap loads of money over there. I'm getting messages from my Patreon members like, oh, thank you so much. I'm making money. This is great. Blah, blah, blah. And you can do it too. It's only like five, twenty, or 25 bucks. I recommend the 25 because you get the parlays and all that for that. Or you can just take our leans that we give you here and they're hitting like crazy too. So let's get at her, Curtis. We got a big day. We got a big day for Saturday. How is it in Oklahoma, by the way? It's all of uh, I think what Fahrenheit might be like minus five Fahrenheit here. What, uh, here, hey. Alabama. Hey. Sorry, what did I say? Uh, you said Oklahoma. Oh, that's not a bad thing to tell somebody from Alabama. <laughs> Oops, that's like the last place I want to put you in, Alabama. Right? Yeah, it's like minus five Fahrenheit here, so. I know you can't tell from my Seattle apartment, but uh, yeah, it's minus five Fahrenheit. By the way, if you subscribe to this channel right now, I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace, Pearl Helicopter to your door by Melissa. And uh, um, Helen is working on those. Uh, she puts fine work and time into those Pearls of Wisdom necklaces. So you should hit the subscribe for her. It's 90 year old lady making that stuff. Her. I want to try. Tea What's that? Told me she made. I'm going to try that fine tea that you told me she made. Fine, Isn't fine, green tea fine or something? tea, yes. Yeah, I, I yes. Fresh off the tree here yeah. in uh, Alberta. Yes, fresh off the pine trees. It's a fine tea and tea. I'll send, I'll send Melissa in the Perlocopter and give you a case of it. Okay, buddy. Let's get out of here because nobody wants to hear us talk like this, right? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Now, the other thing you might want to mention is uh, every once in a while we put some other sports picks up there that have been hitting uh, like gold mine. I don't think we've lost one yet. We posted uh, yeah. like basketball. Yeah, or I got soccer a tennis one coming watch. up, and we I kick ass on tennis. Curtis is nailing basketball left, right, and center. So yeah, might as well pop over, make some cash. It's like you're paying twenty five bucks for a month, but you're making like hundreds. So it's up to you. If you like making money, I would go over there. Um, okay, let's go to our NHL site and see the games today that we're going to be giving you. Some of them are paid picks, like you know, so we're not giving you everything. We are giving you our picks that we do not give our customers, but we will give you one free one, sometimes two free ones. Uh, so let's start off with the Sabres and Devils. Um, I don't think we, we have a, we have a play on the line, on the line here, but not on the total. So what do you like on the total there? Uh, what's your lean on that, buddy? I'm on a, I'm on the 
fence post, uh, but I lean to the over. Um, it's going to depend on goalie confirmation. Um, but uh, right now, uh, I Six, believe uh, it's we'll Wedgwood. See who they project. Wedgwood is projected. Uh, and yeah. Allmark, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Allmark has been playing right. well. Uh, okay. At five and a half, it's a difficult call. I probably lean the over too. Yeah, uh, especially being an early game. Um, I don't know. Something about early games uh, seem to go pretty fast. Uh, it, it just depends on where they're coming from. Nobody's traveling a lot on this game. Um, I can but see an over on this game. The early uh, games that would be my lane. Like bobbling the puck to kind of choppy games because guys are off their routines and stuff like that. So it can go anyway, but. With uh, Wedgwood in there and Hall and, uh, and and Hughes has been lighting it up. Like New Jersey's had some bigger games too. I I, I would lean the over for sure, no doubt about it. Well, one thing to consider is uh, the last two games between the two of them um, uh, scored 17 goals. The last two games oh, if you go. had them together, so divide that and you're way over your five and a half. So if you like trends, uh, that might be yep. help you. With okay, your Carolina, lane. Dallas. We don't have a play for any. We don't have a paid play here, so we can do the over. We can do the total and the line. Um, I don't think we had a play. I think yep. we're kind. Of, we're kind of wishy washy on this game. I think you like Dallas quite a bit, though, right? Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, they're eight and three, uh, against Carolina. Um, you know, there's a few variables. Um, both of them haven't played a lot of games, uh, because of, uh, COVID. Um, but Dallas has looked so darn strong coming out of the gate. Uh, they're what four and oh, they haven't lost a game yet. Um, but then again, you gotta look at who they played. Uh, Carolina is going to be right up there again this year. Both of them are going to be in the playoffs. Um, it's a tough one on the sides. If you like trends, you got to go with Dallas. Uh, but Carolina at home, you know, uh, anything could happen. Uh, but my well, lean would be Dallas. I think I think you kind of take the juice on Dallas there. I I think I got I think I have Carolina fresh in my mind playing perfectly against Tampa the last game. But it might be a little more difficult to do against this Dallas team. It's a bigger, stronger, uh, bullyish type team. I don't think they're going to be able to play uh, as effectively that system against uh, Dallas as they did against Tampa Bay. I think we also both lean the under 5.5 or 5 .5 here as well. Well, absolutely, uh, because uh, if it's um, – uh, do you know who's uh, projected yet? Is it uh, Kudobonim? Kudobin and, uh, and Mrazek, probably. Yeah, and and they're, they're two of the top three right now in percentage yeah. saves so far this year. I mean, uh, yeah, Mrazek generally is not game. a good goaltender. I'm waiting for him to start pooping the bed here, but – Carolina, if they play like they did against Tampa Bay, it's going to be hard to score. Um, you know, and uh, D Dallas might, I, I don't know, Dallas could go off, but I'm going to lead the under as well. I'm, I'm going to say, I'd say it's about 65% under on this. Maybe I'll give you some percentages here while we're doing it. What the heck, eh? Just for fun. Um, Pittsburgh <laughs> versus the Rangers. We have a play on the line so we'll be talking about the total here um six and a half i uh, know six I, I i or do we have a total for this before i even speak oh wait we have a line and the total here yeah we can't talk about this game at all so we're just going to skip that game um nashville and tampa bay um we got we kind of got a play here, but we can give it because we're not really big on the juice on this play, right? Correct. And um, uh, is one of those games on paper, you would have to say that Tampa Bay is going to blow them out. 
Um, you go back and look at trends, and for whatever reason, Nashville plays them tough. Um, I don't, I can't explain Tampa Bay. It seems like, uh, almost like uh, Toronto. It's like uh, they win the games that are tough, but then uh, the games that they should win, it's almost like uh, they let the other team stick around and uh, something fluky happens and uh, the other team wins. So, uh, you know, I definitely lean Tampa Bay, but uh, I'm not willing to pay uh, the juice on that. I think it's minus 175 right now. Um, so yeah, you get that's my two cents. Can Canadian get sixty bucks on your hundred? I just don't think that's a safe enough play to get sixty on your hundred on that play. I guess I don't know. I they should beat Nashville, but like you said, I was more convinced on Tampa Bay until you started talking about trends. It's just the this Nashville team looks yeah, so that, bad right now. It just looks so bad. They need a fire put on yeah, them. That's for sure. Um, Soros has been playing well. Vasilevsky was off the just crazy against uh, Carolina. Actually, they they were Tampa was lucky to get a point in that game, and it was mostly because of Vasilevsky. So, um, I'm going and now for total because of everything I just said. Vasilevsky's pro- I don't think Nashville can score enough on Vasilevsky, but going by your trends, they're going to have to score enough in order to win it. So uh, I'm, I lean the under in this game. I do too. Um, it, it, I'm not sure how many goals uh, Nashville's averaging, but it doesn't seem like they've been uh... – uh, lighten the boards up for sure um, and that and their goalies are letting goals in that shouldn't let in um, boy this is a tough one as far as the total to uh, call because you know uh, Tampa Bay it has the ability to be one of the most explosive teams in the uh, NHL along with Colorado but um, this is a tough one um, I'll be honest uh, I can see it going yeah, either way um... I can I, I I say about sixty percent to the under there, and I mean if you're gonna play, you're getting you're getting better juice on the under at two, so you might as well give it a shot. I mean, what are, are these leans are maybe making it more sure in your mind for your own leans, right? Like you maybe have this play far more uh, to the under or far more to Tampa Bay than we do. So hopefully we're helping you out on that. Uh, if you if you have a stronger play on this in your mind, then great. I would say for two on the under, that's probably what I would play. Um, I used to have a system of play where I would play every game, and I would run on. Uh, I would figure in my head percentages, and I would go with the juice on the higher percentages. And over time, I would make about 10% of my money. 12% of my money over time. Try to find a bank that's going to pay you that, right? You're doing pretty good over time. So I did that for a while. So if you're playing like that, I would go Tampa Bay on the under there. Uh, this the There's a guy called the Professor something, Professor MJ. MJ. Yeah. Professor MJ? Yeah, he's yeah. great for that. <laughs> I, I listen to his stuff all the time. I like his stuff. He's great. Highly recommend you, him for you. What's that? I've seen him since before the Super Bowl. He, you know, he does all the sports now. that. But uh, I, I'll tell you what, every once in a while when I do click on him and I listen to uh, what he's saying on a game, uh, sometimes it makes me back off or uh, yeah, I listen twice to his on a game. as much <laughs> as I can for hockey. Um, he's affiliated with that uh, – um, he's affiliated with that uh, – Draft Kings or something like that. He's doing very well for himself, and he should. He's a great guy and a good capper. Um, Boston, Washington. Um, we we got a we got both here. Do we did we have the line on this as well? I don't think we were as confident on the line here. Um, no, we I think we were. Yeah, I think we got to skip this game because we got to play on both. Uh, Florida versus Detroit. Um, we kind of have a play. I'm going to, 
I'm going to give you this one. This is my free pick for today. Um, I'm going to give this to my patrons, and it's going to be Florida and regulation. I agree 1,000%. Yeah. So Florida and regulation is going to pay you uh, probably, I'm guessing, like almost 190 um, and I say that's a pretty high because they don't have it here in reg. So look it up tomorrow on your wherever you bet. Check out what in reg does. The in regs aren't in yet, but I'm going to say it's going to be close to 190. And for just about double your money, that's a really nice play. So that's our free play for you. Um, as far as the total on this, this looks. As far as the total on huh? this, I think we're leaning the under, aren't we? Um, yeah, and we're basing that on Detroit uh, just having a hard time to score. They're scoring less than two goals a game in that. Um, and, you know, the trends to back up uh, that free Florida pick we're given is uh, um, Florida is 6-1 and one at Detroit, and they're 6-0 and oh, uh, the last six games in the series, too. So um, it's hard yeah. not to so take Tor Florida. <laughs> Toronto, Edmonton. <laughs> Um, you've got, I, I haven't just, I can, you got to pick on both. on both side and so I'll let you talk about what you think and, um, do you, I'll share it if you want. Uh, it's up to you. I, I, I got to keep sharing. on rolling with Toronto here. Um, I'm an Oilers fan, but first of all, I don't like the makeup of their team and I don't like the way the coach is, the system that he's playing for that team and Toronto just keeps on rolling. They're playing beautiful hockey, like really beautiful hockey. Uh, so I'm going to lean Toronto and I think you got a big play on the, on the total. I've got a big play on both actually. Um, and I'll share it with you. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, I'm absolutely on Toronto. Um, Toronto has improved their team so much this year in the defensive end, which is what they absolutely needed. Um, they are 20 and seven against Edmonton. Uh, they're five and zero at Edmonton. Frederick Anderson, the goalie that's projected if he's playing tomorrow, and I think he is. He is seven and zero against Edmonton. It is there is there isn't anything there to buck. Now trends are meant to be beat. But I'm going to tell you, uh, I ride a trend until it is broken, um, when it's that stout of a, a trend. As far as the under, uh, I like the under in the game uh, because of the defense being so much better. Um, I think Edmonton uh, always puts up a fight at home. Um, the under is 12-5-4 uh, and four, uh, at uh, Edmonton. So... I like to run yeah, on under. six and a half. I'd probably lean the under there too, because Edmonton is trying to play defensively, uh, and in doing so, they do limit. Uh, I don't think it's what they should do. I think they should just run and gun against every team, personally. But uh, that's me. Uh, so I would probably lean the under there. The other one was the last game was just barely over, and I think public is going to keep that at six and a half. Because when you hear McDavid, Matthews, all that, you just your mind goes over, 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 right? So, so right. that yeah, I kind of agree with you on that. I, I like the under on that as well. That might even be a paid pick by the end of tomorrow. I don't know. I'll let things sink in and uh, see where they go. Uh, can't give you anything on the line with the Montreal-Calgary game as we already have. We're, that's a paid pick, and we've given you a few already. So uh, as far as the total... Um, I think we're both leaning the over here, right? Eh? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, both teams have a tendency to uh, be penalized teams. I think Montreal's and maybe the number one or number two penalized team so far this year, even though they're in first place. Um, and that tends to lead to uh, power plays, and power plays lead to goals. Um, both definitely have the ability to score. Um, so, yeah, I would lean to the over. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if it went under, but I, I definitely lean to the over. And you're better at percentages than me, so I'll let you throw a percentage. Yeah, I'm 55%. <laughs> like, I really don't. I think this could be a push. 
I think this could be a push. It feels like a push. Yep. Uh, is it? Yeah, I just Montreal scoring so much. Uh, just keep on rolling with their scoring, like they just keep on scoring. Uh, and Calgary should be tired here. So when you're play, when you got a rested team playing against a uh, tired team, the rested team that already is a high offensive team usually racks her up pretty good. So we'll see. Uh, Colorado, Minnesota. I don't have a play on this at all. Uh, for the total or for the line. I've been struggling with this game back and forth. Um, it kind of, when Fiala was got, Fiala ended up getting a three game suspension. I decided to go with Colorado as on the ML. As far as the over under is concerned, um, I, I'm, I'm, I slightly lean the over. What about you? Um, it's good, depending on the goalie confirmation. Uh, it seems like uh, I saw something somewhere uh, t today, I think. Uh, isn't Colorado going to be playing the, the kid that Meshach, they brought up from the think, AHL? I don't think they're going to play him on this back. one, no. I think if this is a back-to-back. -back, okay. uh, let me see. I think, is this a back-to-back -back for Colorado? Yes, it is. The first game of a back-to-back. -back. Uh, maybe... Maybe they'll I think play. This is... I think they'll play him against the more tired Minnesota team in the second, the second game. I think this is a uh, could be a trap game for Colorado. Um, is this Minnesota's? Uh, this isn't their first home no, game, is it? I don't think so. Um. I mean, on paper, Colorado should uh, be kicking their butt. Um, trends actually go against it. Um, where did I see that? Uh, yeah, I mean, Colorado is only five and twelve at Minnesota. Um, I think Minnesota has a good chance of winning this, and they'd be a nice dog uh, pick if you if you like to pick dogs. Um, it's not going to be on my card. Um, but uh, if I had to lean, I, I would say, uh, hmm, might have to look at what the lines are. Maybe taking uh, Minnesota on the puck line, maybe plus one and a half. Juice. You're only uh, getting like one thirty. Put it in a parlay or something like that. Yeah. Um, the over under. Um, boy, this could go either way. Um. They have all the tangibles to go over. Um, I would probably lean over. And for the reason you were talking about, you said oh, Minnesota's yeah, yeah. going to be tired. Okay, St. Louis, Anaheim. This is a more difficult game than you would think, isn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, don't we have a pick on the total? Did we take that? I didn't think we did. Uh, Sabres. Yeah, we, well, we shied away from that, didn't we? Uh, oh, oh, we did, but we can give it to them. Because uh, uh, we liked right. Anaheim PL on that, didn't we? Hey, I like giving it, so maybe I'll uh, get some of you folks to start signing up uh, on Patreon, uh, and you'll see yeah. uh, how well uh, we've been I, doing. Anaheim PL in a parlay would be a, the play that we would be looking there. We won't tell you what the parlay is, but we will tell you that we like Anaheim PL there. Um, and we do lean the under on that game as well, right? We do, uh, especially if Gibson's playing. Uh, Gibson's playing out of his mind this year. Um, he is really the only gold chip that Anaheim has. Um, I actually see him on the trading block uh, by the end of the year, and they're going to get everything they can for him. Um, It looks like I lost you there. I'm going to have to finish it off on my own here. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'll just finish off the rest of the games on my own. I guess we lost lost them on this one. We're not going to do it again. So it, Anaheim and 
uh, St. Louis. We're going to go under and the line on Winnipeg, Vancouver. We got to play on the line here. As far as the over under is concerned, we are going. Probably leaning to the over six.